G'day. In today's video, I'm opening up a Lenovo Yoga 510 14IBK, IKB. And this particular one, not really opening up with much of an intent. Um, potentially replace the thermal paste in here, check the hinges, see how to upgrade the RAM if that's possible, and also to see what kind of hard drives in here. So right now I'm just taking out all the Phillips head screws that are visible. So the one at the back there was longer. These two are longer. It's weird, some of them are coming out and some of them aren't. So that is normal. One out. Two more across the front here. Um, cold fingertips, this is not fun. That's undone, that's undone. Put them here, and they're simply separated. One screw here, also not wanting to leave. Go. I'm breaking on the audio jack over here just because it's so old and brittle and has already been fairly mistreated. There we go. Go, another screw fell out. Get that off and out of the way. Looking in here, you see one battery, which is connected up to here, which I will disconnect. Just going to wiggle that out. One battery disconnected. Next up, I want to have a look under here. And this should be where our RAM is located. Up now. And we have a single 8 gig stick of RAM. So this particular machine only has a single stick, and that is it there. So to install it, line up the notch here with here, and we put it in a 45 degree angle and pull down. So angled, push down, there we go. So it's a matter of lining these up. There we go, and push down, and our cover's now back on there. Next up is over here, which I will assume this will be an SSD, going by the particular model. I thought there may have been an NVMe drive in here. At this point, does not look to be the case. Lift this up, and wiggle it back, flip it over. There we go. We have a 256 gig, oh, 256 gig uh, Samsung. What model number are we? CM87A. No, there we go. Model number MZ-YTY2560. So that'll just be an OEM-based one. So you could upgrade that and replace it with another SSD. You would have to take out the extra screws along here and make sure the orientation is right here. Once you've swapped over your drive, it should be a matter of lining it back up, pushing it back in. And what you'd have to do would be the even harder task is reinstall Windows or clone from your old hard drive. So you'd either use the Windows 10 media creation tool to reinstall that, or potentially a program like a Chronos True Image to clone it to an external hard drive and then back again. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Next, I want to have a look under here and see what we find. I'm going to leave the fan attached. I don't believe taking that up is really going to achieve much. It is a fairly large single fan though, that's for sure. Nope, that doesn't want to leave. It's being stubborn. Call in reinforcements. A lot larger. Uh, screwdriver. 
I can locate it. So at this point, I am not. Let's try the other screws. It appears leaving happily. That one's not going to. So I'd say this may be off once before. Just looking in my toolkit here. This one is shot. Well, that's just going to round it. Uh, I think I may be stuck at these screws for now. I'm just going to leave them. I'm just going to give up on those. Uh, rounding off those screws and then not having a coolant properly attached is probably worse than having all the thermal paste at this stage. So I'll revert this back to what it was. Turn it straight forward. And these two over here. So I won't go down the avenue of thermal paste replacement. So then once you've upgraded your RAM and your hard drive or SSD, we'll reconnect the battery once more. We should be lining it up, pushing it back in. Mm, doesn't feel quite right. There we go, now we're back in. And then from there, we put our bottom cover back on, actually. You do have the opportunity to double check your hinges. They always wiggle loose. I've had about a quarter of a turn, quarter of a turn. This one here I can't quite access. I need a smaller screwdriver. Yep, quarter of a turn there as well. It's always worthwhile checking those hinges while you've got it open, and it takes a second. Push this back down and get to start putting those screws back in. So the larger screws go at the back, the longer screws go at the back, and the smaller screws go in the other locations. So fill in the blanks from there, doesn't matter where they go, they're all the same length after that. And I hope this helps with your upgrade on your Lenovo Yoga 510-14 IKB. I'll see you guys in another video. Bye. Gold fingertips. There we go. Bye.